It's Ashley, and this is my very first YouTube video. Sure. I go to the gym. I'm a cat mom. I'm also in community theater, and I have to take care of things at home. And I thought, well, let's add one more thing to that plate. Let's make a YouTube channel. Um, so I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, if you cannot tell. And I wanted to get my first subscription box. Um, well, not my first, because I'm actually, I love fortune cookie soaps, and by the way, I will have a fortune cookie soap uh, box coming up soon as soon as it comes in the mail. It's another one of my big fandoms that I have. Uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> but for today, I wanted to share my box with you guys on the YouTube. Um, from Crate Joy, I believe, is a part of this uh, Geek Gear box. It is the Wizardry box, so it's specifically geared, <laughs> gear, geared towards Harry Potter. Um, which I love, obviously. Um, I am a proud Ravenclaw, so I was able to um, make this box custom. Uh, I got to pick a color, so you pick your house color, like red, yellow, green, blue, obviously, um, respectively to the houses. You also get to pick your t-shirt size, because they will send you t-shirts. Now there are, I believe, maybe two. I'll link in the description, just in case you guys are interested in uh, getting this and not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to share this with you. Um, but I believe that there are two boxes. There's like a really big, luxurious box where you get you know, some really big extra items. But, you know, uh, being a teacher, I, I barely can afford to live. So I was like, hey, a subscription box. So <laughs> this um, shipped from the UK, so I had to wait a long time for it. I also got one for my husband, which is a classic box, which has pop culture in it. So if you're interested in seeing that one, he is getting that subscription box. Um, glare. So... Geek Gear Wizardry. Let's see what this has in store. Oh, I didn't say um, this cost $24.99 in pounds since it's from the UK, so it has a big conversion and all that junk from UK shipping. But it's a monthly subscription box. I'm going month by month, which you can also pay by three months or you can pay by year. Um, it's up to you. So let's open this. And see. By the way, I have three cats. Like I said, I'm a cat mom. This is the cat room and my filming room. So if you hear wow, uh, weird, strange noises, it's probably the cats roaming around. And you'll probably see a few of them climbing around over here. So anyway, back to the box. <laughs> um, it's covered in a blue paper for a Ravenclaw. Let's see. Okay. Got. Oh, looking. Ah, ah. I saw something I love. Okay. Yeah. So here is my exclusive t-shirt. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. You can barely see it. Maybe you can see it. It's a moon with the silhouette of Rubius Hagrid on his um, motorbike going across the moon. It's a very nice uh, ET nod, in my opinion. Um, and it, I got to customize the size. So these are in unisex sizes. I got a, a large. Um, I usually wear a large in unisex sizes. So anyway, um, it's just... Plain black has moon with a Hagrid running across. And it's very special to me because my second cat, my only boy cat, his name is Rubius. Um, we call him Rue. He's a big fat marble tabby and I love him so much. Um, but anyway, yay! I'm going to try this on at the end, probably, hopefully, <laughs> and figure out how to edit that in. Um, I saw something else though I'm really excited about, but I don't want to like spoil it. So you guys can probably see what's in it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, okay, Captain Pin. Um, and it's for Quidditch. Kind of came out of the box. Um, but it was for Quidditch. It is a Captain Pin. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out how to reverse this because it's backwards. <laughs> so it is a Ravenclaw Captain Pin for Quidditch. How many times can I say that? Um, it looks a lot like the prefect or the head boy or head girl uh, button. I will say that in my own fan fiction idea of myself at Hogwarts, I probably would not do Quidditch. I am very clumsy and the only sports that I ever really did was gymnastics when I was little and I used to do karate. But my balance as I've gotten older, gotten taller, heavier, <laughs> is not good. So I don't think I would be a Quidditch person, but this would be really cool to put on my special robes or my lanyard for Universal Studios. Um, we went to Universal Studios in March. And um, I'm planning on getting a lanyard to start putting some pins on. So that's really cool. Um, let's put that back in the box. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just going to look. I can't. Ooh, this is like 
a tote bag. Yes, yes, I love bags. Okay, um, Wizarding School. Okay, got Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Puffa, Slytherin, all represented, but it is in the blue color for Ravenclaw. So this is perfect. Like I said, I'm a school teacher. I'm always carrying things in and out of school. I'm always carrying things whenever I go into town. And plus, my favorite bag just broke. So I could use this in the meantime. It's very nice. Fashionable bag, long straps. Uh, it's got a pretty good amount of room, like you can tell on camera. <laughs> it's a little bit see through, and that's fine though, because it's not heavy. It's kind of a canvas material, which is great. Awesome. Uh, this is super cool. Okay, um,. So it is a little Hogwarts Express. It's magical steam engine is what it is called. So this may not actually be 100% Harry Potter brand. It's a Geek Gear exclusive. So the gleaming scarlet steam engine plays a major role in the world of witches and wizards. It takes them from King's Cross Station to the famous wizard village. You will have no need for port keys when you have access to a magical locomotive. Um, one of my biggest dreams, and I actually saw it on Amazon, hint to my husband, it was like $200, $300. There's Nimbus. She's our oldest. Named after Harry Potter stuff. Nimbus, obviously. Um, <laughs> but um, one of my biggest, like, goal dreams for Christmas is to get the Hogwarts Express to, like, the train to go around my tree. We've always had a train to go around our tree at my mom and dad's house. And I want, there. I want the Hogwarts one so bad. Okay, so it's just like a little replica kind of thing um i don't think it has any actual hogwarts marking so maybe no no it does not so yeah this is a kind of like a geek gear special type thing um but it's not technically harry potter branded but this is awesome because um i'm hoping maybe to show you some videos and clips and things of my classroom because I actually did my classroom in Harry Potter this year. It's a very minimalistic, in my opinion, my husband says it's not, <laughs> but it's a very minimalistic um, looking Harry Potter um, thing to my classroom. So this would be super cute to sit somewhere. <laughs> I'll find a spot for it, probably behind the desk so nobody will take it. Um, Nimbus wants to get in the bag. <laughs> Nim, we actually, uh, we sorted all of our cats and our, and our dog, we have a dog too, um, into Hogwarts houses. And um, Nimbus is a Slytherin, just like her dad, just like my husband. Um, I'm the only Ravenclaw in the entire house, but um, she's very curious. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, I told you that I love fortune cookie soaps, um, and I love soap, I love bath things. Oh my gosh, my husband has to pull me away from bed bath, not bed bath and beyond. Oh, that was confusing every time. But my husband has to always pull me away from bath and body works because I have so many things that are bath related, and I even have an Ulta card, and so I get a lot of things at Ulta. Uh, but this, this came in the box, so no big deal. Um, this is butterscotch soap. This is another geek gear type thing like they create their own merchandise items i love soap love lotions i'm trying to go through what i have now so that i can like splurge on christmas and fall stuff because i just love christmas and fall um so butterscotch soap one of my absolute favorite things at the wizarding world of harry potter at universal is butterbeer obviously we get like four or five every time we're there um oh, all different kinds this I have allergies too, so sometimes things are really strong. No, it's very subtle. It's it's not like in your face sweet, which is good because I don't, I mean, I love candy. I love candy. I love desserts. I love sweets. But when it comes to smells, it's kind of like if something's really sweet, I don't, I don't want it on my skin. <laughs> um, it's very overpowering, kind of sickening, and I like my desserts and my candy, so I don't want everything to smell like that because I'll get sick of it. But this is very subtle, which I like. It's it's just a black bar. I'm not sure if that's gonna show up. Oh, hi, hi, you can see me double. Uh, um, but it's glittery, and you, you can't really tell because my lighting is all going here. Um, but it's a little bit like gold flecked glitter. Super cool. That's rude. 
He's such a silly boy. Okay. Yeah, a very subtle, smells like butterscotch. I'm sure it'll laugh like lather. Lavender. <laughs> I like lavender. Um, will lather up very well. Um, I'll try it out. I think it's a glycerin soap and um let's see. Yeah, it's a glycerin soap because it was kind of transparent, so I assumed it was a glycerin soap. Um, which is great. So like when I order subscription stuff that it's going to be broken. I swear if this is the same one that I got when I went to Universal, that's so cool. I want something different. Um, This is super cool. Okay, there's nothing else in there. It's very similar to the one that I got at Universal. The handle is similar, but the, the color, and it's just like a very basic, like, rod part but here in my lovely display is the wand that I was picked for I actually was picked to get my wand the first time I ever went to Wizarding World of Harry Potter cried like a baby my husband has it on video um it has like the uh spiral detail it has kind of like a vine looking detail right here with a cord um but with mine from Universal it's a little bit more special things it's like holly is what he said um, and then this is like more of a tan. So this one is, like would be really good for display because it stands out. Um, I love this one, but it's, it's very dark <laughs> and I'm not a very dark, well, all I wear is black usually at school. Um, but I'm really not like a dark person personality wise. So, but anyway, <laughs> not relevant, but this will stand out. Like if, if I want to display it in like my curio cabinet, not anybody specific wand. Which is fine. Uh, that's fine with me. Um, There's so many things that I collect. I don't think I could collect everybody's wands. But I do have Hermione's wand because I like to cosplay with Hermione. But, um, how much longer can I talk about it? Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, I think this, yeah, this was the July box. Um, I subscribed for the August box for the card that I had it on. I think it expired or something. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get another box. If people are interested in this, I, I like it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna share it with you whether you like it or not. Um, whoa, whoa, hang on. There's only, there's one more thing left, but this is so cool. Is there supposed to be a ring? Okay, looks like there's supposed to be like, like it goes in something. That's so cool. Okay. How about I show you what I got? <laughs> I'm sticking to the chair. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these are recipe cards. Like this is Molly's chicken. That looks delicious. Uh, I just ate lunch, which my lunch was a bag of chips, but whatever. Um, but this looks really good. Like I really don't cook like big, big meals. Like I can cook basic stuff, but that looks delicious. Molly's chicken. I guess, I guess people have recipe books <laughs> or rings. I don't, <laughs> but anyway, oh, I love this one. Um, like I said, I love candy. Like one of my favorite candies is like gummy sour candies, like trolley gummy worms. Oh, I eat those all day long. When we went to Universal, I was like, I've got to try the acid pops. I got to try the acid pops. So I love sour stuff so much. It burned my mouth. But I loved it. <laughs> so here is a recipe for acid pops. How cool is that? Um, I have never made candy in my entire life. Um, and it's a lot of measuring and temperature and um, things that I'm not good at. But um, this is really cool. It tells you how to add the acid coating. So you could probably use like the acid coating for other candies. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see. Looks like I've got. Yeah, one more. Yeah, this is like, here we go. Kind of, maybe. Maybe, maybe it goes in. 
don't know. <laughs> um, but here's the last one. I think these are house cupcakes is what it says. House scarf cupcakes. Oh, okay. There's a scarf. I was like, I don't want to play scarves. Um, very cool. So it shows you the basic colors, a basic cupcake. Um, yeah, basic, basic cakes. Tells you how to make the topping decorations. So it'll help you make the scarves, which like I said, I'm not good at that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, super cool recipe cards. Something I wasn't expecting in a box like this, but I'm glad that I have it because who knows, I might try this one day. Um, and there's one last thing in this box, and I'm super happy about it. It's so cute. I'm so ready for Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald to come out. When I saw the trailer, I was like, oh my god, Jude Law. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so I love Fantastic Beasts. And I, by the way, I am a Wampus cat from Il Um Fantastic Beasts. This is, oh god, glare. <laughs> this is a demiguise sketch type thing. So it's kind of like film art. Um, it says, it's a Geek Gear licensed exclusive. So yeah, this is uh, published by the art group. Um, Fantastic Beasts, where to find them. So it is licensed. Um, really cool. And I've always wanted the Crystal Demiguise Funko Pop. I collect Funko Pops too. I collect lots of things. Anyway, super cool. This would be really neat as a frame. Um, this might be actually really neat to put in my classroom as a frame behind my desk. So, I'm trying to keep this short because I don't know if I'll edit my videos. I'm not an editing type person. I like to talk and ramble though, so we shall see. But this was fun. I'm very excited and I hope that I can get the next box, get that figured out. Geek Gear Wizardry box, like I said, they have other boxes as well. Um, the Geek Gear Classic, which my husband got, had a lot of DC, Marvel, they don't have like Mario, things that are classic pop culture. If you're interested in seeing that, he's already opened it, but you guys haven't seen it, so <laughs> I will share it with you if you'd like me to. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming and hanging out with me. One of my very first YouTube videos, minus my teacher videos. Um, I hope to share more fun, cool, geeky, random stuff with you guys. I have lots of collections, lots, lots of fandoms that I'm a part of. Um, my life outside of that is pretty boring. Thank you guys, and uh, hopefully I will see you soon.